Hello everybody, I'm Gamer 101 and welcome back to Slay the Spire. I've been playing Monster Hunter a lot, so I haven't really touched this game in a little bit. I did play some runs off camera to practice a little bit. I don't remember what my last run was, so forgive me, but I'm gonna go ahead and pick Ironclad. Mostly because I've got one unlock remaining. I think I got three for him, yeah. I'll do those later, but I've got one unlock remaining, so I'd like to make some progress here. I'm gonna be playing a little bit faster than usual because I kind of already have an idea of what I want to do. Ooh. Choosing our card is something I'm gonna get to do anyway, so let's take the gold and hope for an early shop. We got a few, so we're actually gonna go ahead and... Hmm. Let's go over the two combats question mark shop for now, because that, I feel like that might be more ideal. Because uh, I'm probably gonna opt to remove a card at the shop. So let's... Bash. Let's go ahead and kill one of them outright so that we can get the damage minimal. Also, uh, I've been noticing weird issues with the game. So we're gonna go full screen. Never mind, we'll do it later. <laughs> I've been noticing weird frame depth, so just strike, strike, strike. Simple. If we get another, um, uh, actually a, vo uh, a bash and some strikes should kill him next turn. So I'm only going to do eight. Let's block all incoming damage so that we don't take any more since the weekend will wear off after this turn and pretty much no matter what we do, as long as we get two attacks, which we will. So he's dead. No big deal. First floor is never really too big of an issue. Oh, these are new. Uh, gain one artifact. Spot weakness. That's exactly the kind of thing I'm looking for, by the way. I am going to try to aim for a strength deck. Simply because I'm a lot more efficient with them than I am with block decks. It's, it, let, me, let me put it this way. It's something I understand a little bit better and tend to work around much more. And of course you're not. <laughs> I mean, of course you're not attacking. So whatever, we'll just make you vulnerable. The vulnerability might make it so that I can kill him this turn, but he's... No, not likely. I... I, I Uh, I'm gonna take all the damage on the face no matter what I do. So I could deal 26. Or I could do 16 plus 13, which is 29? Yeah. I'm an idiot. I only had two energy. <laughs> I mean, no matter what, I gotta deal with this. So making him vulnerable for this turn was probably more advantageous anyway. But that was just, that was a horrible misplay. Misplay right at the start is kind of a bad thing, but, um, none of these really fit what I'm going for. So we're going to opt to skip. I'm going to take the relic because we're about to hit a shop. And Aura Chalcum is really good. And we're going to remove it right away. Because that's a horrible curse to have. Uh, I'll be, hmm. Unfortunately, two of these cards are exactly what I'm looking for. So I'm gonna opt to do those instead of the block. Having Aura Chalcum makes it a little bit more bearable, so we're gonna go for this. Hmm. Yeah, let's upgrade a card. Let's upgrade. And Flame is immediate, but this gets me four every time I draw it, so let's do that. Now, let's see. One, two, three. I'll get four if I go along this path. Alternatively, I'll get one. I'm only gonna get two fires if I go along that path. I will hit another shop right there though. That's a little tempting, but I don't really have enough money to make it worthwhile. So I think I'm actually gonna opt to go this way. Let's get another upgrade. Let's go ahead and upgrade the flex actually. The inflame will probably be the next thing I upgrade. Unless I get, um, I can't remember the name of the card. Yes, let's remove a defend. The reason I'm removing defense is because if I get a perfected strike, I'd actually like to use it in flame. Yep, upgrade to the inflame. It, in this case, it doesn't really matter. That's actually pretty useful if I get any kind of discard synergies, which I don't have at the moment. But if I get a hand I don't like, which is, is kind of the case here, I do want to keep the block. So let's inflame. And... Do I take the seven on the face? I'm gonna opt not to because of the fact that I have an flame and I might get spot weakness. He's gonna hit me with one weak, unfortunately, so that sucks. So I'm probably gonna try to block this turn if I can. However, flexing 
Fletching was a little, eh, maybe a tad redundant, but I'm mostly trying to trying to draw it out a little longer so that I can take care of the, uh, he gave me weak again. Okay, so never mind. Not as useful as I thought. 9, 9, 18, 27, or let's do this. Unfortunately, I'm only going to uh, block six of that, which is no big deal. I, I got to remember I have Aura Chalcom. I was kind of forgetting it, but I was blocking for more than it was giving, so. And he's just dead. So. Mm, Thunderclap is nice. I'm looking for Whirlwind, though. I might actually opt to remove the Bash. So... If I get a chance to remove a card, I probably will. Let's upgrade the Thunderclap. Because I would actually rather remove the Bash. Now, here's the thing. I'm, I'm going to get a question mark no matter which way I go. But I think I'm going to opt for the Elite to try and get the Relic. Let's discard these two. We're going to Spot Weakness. Uh, in Flame. And Thunderclap. Now, they're all, they are all going to negate that first effect. However, if I draw a Thunderclap again, that'll be really good. I've done a lot of damage to them on the very first turn. All of them, I should say. Not just one of them, that's what makes it so good. Now we'll flex. We'll just outright kill one of them and defend. That was stupid, actually. That was actually stupid, unfortunately. I shouldn't, I should have not defended because uh, I have War Chalcom. Oopsies. It was only a one HP difference, so that's not a big deal, but it is rather unfortunate. I'm trying. I'm, I'm, I really don't want to take any more damage. I know some people might disagree with that, but I really don't want to take any more damage right now. I'd rather use my next campfire to upgrade another card instead of resting. So if I can avoid that, I'd like to. We can kill you. So we're going to do that. Hopefully next turn we'll be able to kill him. If we get Thunderclap, that's definitely going to put fuel on the fire for us. Which is exactly what we got. So yeah, he's just dead. Perfect. That was exactly how I wanted that to go. Maybe you add a skill to your card. Whenever you add a skill card to your deck, it is upgraded. That's super good. And bloodletting definitely fuels the kind of fire I want to keep going. So, another merchant, huh? Uh, don't need another thunderclap. Metallic size is pretty good. As a matter of fact, it might be because I have War Chalcom. That means I get 9 block at the end of every turn that I don't block. Let's do that. I'm actually going to opt to do that. And we're going to go for the Elite. This guy is a race, so... He is not attacking this turn. We do not need to defend. We do not need the Bash. Mm, not quite what I wanted, but it's alright. I was hoping to get, um, uh, what is it? The, the power. Metal, yeah, that's it. Metallicize. I'm going to play it right away. So, a couple more turns and he's going to go down really quickly. And luckily, we're not taking too much damage from him at this point in time. But playing skills is going to add up really quick. So we're going to gain three strengths and that's a power. And that's going to do... You're not going to like this. I'm going to opt to do this because of the extreme amount of strength that it gives me. I am taking a lot more damage on the face for that, unfortunately, but... He's... I haven't taken a lot of damage on this first floor, so... Lex, and you're dead. Plus I heal, so... I, do, I definitely don't need a rest. All bronze scales is pretty good. Whenever you gain block, deal three damage to a random enemy. That... Kind of synergizes with what I'm doing. But it is a two cost power that I would have to play on top of it. It would deal six damage every turn if I have the Metallicize activated. Otherwise, it would only deal three. What's my, how many cards do I have? I really want to start getting rid of some of these strikes. I, I do have bloodletting. I got to remember that. So you know what? Only because I have bloodletting, I might actually be able to draw that. And we're going to upgrade Juggernaut. Five damage for every four. Four block.
Sorry, I really gotta think about that. So it's either it's either gonna be Juggernaut or Metallicize. If it made Juggernaut cheaper, that'd be a no-brainer. But I think I think because this does five damage every single time, I'm gonna opt for it instead. And let's go fight the boss. And it's the uh, the guardian. All right, I got Metallicize right away. This does nothing for me. So let's just hit him with the attack. Bloodletting doesn't help me right now, so I get nine, nine block every single turn, which is fantastic. Oh, spot weakness would have been so good. So let's Thunderclap. Strike, strike. Okay, good. I managed, I managed to stop myself from taking all of that damage. That's very good. I really need to get my spot weakness, though. There we go. Huh. I'm going to block all incoming damage, so let's do this. Now I have a 7 strength buff. There was no reason to play flex since I didn't do any attacks. So every turn I'm going to deal 10 extra damage to him. Which is fantastic. I would gain 10 block plus the 3. Or I could apply vulnerable, which I'm actually going to opt to do. Some people might not like that, but because I'm getting 9 block at the end of every single turn and dealing 10 damage... I'm gonna just try to be aggressive right now, so flex. Alright. <laughs> this is such a good synergy I got going right here. I really like this. Alright, spot weakness. Thunderclap. Hit him again. Next turn, he's dead. No, no doubt about it. He won't survive it no matter what he does. My strength is too high. My attacks are too strong. Bam. And that was a really, really good first floor. Oh, that's tempting. Ah. Oh. If I get that and if I can get body slam on top of the strength I'm building. Oh. Let me, let me take a look at this. Okay, so I've got Metallicize and I've got Juggernaut. I don't have a lot of defensive cards aside from those though. So I'm thinking because of Inflame and Flex and Spot Weakness, I think I should stick to the strength uh, mentality I've got going here. Feed is nice though. I think I'm going to take feed, and if it ends up being a dead card, I'll remove it at a shop. Uh, the key. Absolutely. We're taking the key. We need the extra energy for the powers that we have. So I'd like to hit a semi-early shop. Is there any mid-game shops? One right here. And there's no more late shops. Kind of eyeball on this left path that kind of goes into that shop. I go this way, I can hit five campfires. Alternatively, I could hit one, two, three, four that way. Unless I, unless I go for the shop. But I'm gonna hit this shop right here. So let's do this path right here. And we'll hit that shop that was up, up kind of in this area. So you're not gonna attack on the first turn, so spot weakness is useless. Feed, I don't wanna use you right away. So let's just actually dump all of these let's get metallicized working let's get inflamed working let's drop some of your uh let's drop some of your guard right away and that's pretty solid so far pretty solid start i can't really do any debuffs to him right now but i will only take one point of damage right now and juggernaut's a no-brainer flex and thunderclap blocking would be redundant so i'm just gonna i could do yeah let's actually do this Suddenly, it's not as redundant. <laughs> Some people might not like that play, but I'm going to heal it at the end of the fight, especially with the amount of damage I just did to him. This deck is pretty strong. I really, really want to get a whirlwind, though. I want to get a whirlwind, and I want to get rid of one of these strikes. I don't need all these little strikes. 
each time you lose HP in combat, deal 16 damage. That's okay, but I think it unnecessarily makes the deck thicker than I want it to be. I'm aiming for a 20 to 25 card deck at most. I feel like 25 is even too much. Uh, feeds too early. Bloodletting might be good. Thunderclap, Metallicize are stuff I want, so. Yeah, Bloodletting is actually good here. Might disagree with it. It gives me a little bit of extra energy than I needed. I probably should have played Thunderclap first. That was kind of a misplay, but I'm only going to take three damage. Which means if I take no more damage, I will heal to max again. And flex, spot weakness, juggernaut, and a strike. All right, I'm not going to be able to heal to max now, but I might be able to hit him with a feed. Because feed with my strength level right now might actually kill him. Okay, maybe not so much. All right, now it's actually a good idea to play two. So I really, really want to draw feed. <laughs> oh, oh, never mind. He, he's just dead. Uh, heavy blade. That's a must. I saw Armaments Plus, but Heavy Blade is a bigger must. Remove a card. Yeah, let's just remove the strike like I initially planned to do. If I don't get any... Ooh, Pin Nib's pretty good. <laughs> now you're just being mean to me. All right. Well, I didn't take Barricade, so... I don't need a second spot weakness. Pen Nib can be incredible coupled with Heavy Blade if I can get it to proc. I can't afford that. I'm... That'd leave me with 113 if I did that. Ooh. What would I remove? I'd almost say another strike. I've got a lot of power cards, though not very many attack cards. Though. Maybe even... Actually, I might remove a block because I'm not using them, but Pen Nib is so good! All right, I am going to hit another shop, though. Maybe. Wow, this is uh, this is actually bothering me. A lot of people would say Pen Nib, pen nib is kind of a no-brainer, but it's only every 10th attack. Whereas getting, getting rid of a card will make my combos go much smoother. I'm going to make my combos go smoother. Some people might not, might not like that decision. Oh, 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 Searing Glow. Some people might not like that, but I feel like that... I really wish I had fucking Whirlwind. Uh, strike, strike, strike. Spot weakness. Thunderclap. Metallicize. And we'll just hit you. I'm gonna take one damage. Oh wait, no, never mind. I'm only gonna I'm not gonna take any. Okay, yeah, never mind. Oh my god! <laughs> Bronze scales OP! In flame for sure. Juggernaut. And we'll feed. That was a max HP increase, which is why I did that. Ten, oh yeah, that's right. I do 10 damage every time. That's so good. <laughs> okay, fucking flex. Fucking heavy play. <laughs> I'd only gain five, so let's not. I'm gonna take a little bit more damage than I wanted to, but he is dead no matter what. So. All I gotta do is thunderclap. No, never mind. Well, he actually... He is dead because I'm gonna gain block and he's gonna get hit by the block. <laughs> That's insane. This synergy is insane. Whenever you lose HP for... I don't have any cards that take away HP, do I? E, I do. Bloodletting. Rupture is actually good. Rupture is actually fits... It fits very well with what I'm trying to do. So... Nah, I don't give a fuck about Bash. Uh... Oh, that's right. Rupture was already upgraded. I was looking for it. Like, wait a minute. I don't... So let's do this. Gain four blocks because I'm hitting a lot of points where they're, where they're hitting ten. And I'm taking one point of damage because of it. I fucking wish I had Whirlwind. I fucking wish I had Whirlwind. Seed's not going to be useful right now. Uh, spot weakness. Metallicize. And I will actually opt to do that because it doesn't exhaust. 
I can't kill one of them, but I can get pretty goddamn close. And let's actually drink the artifact so that they can't entangle me or weaken me or anything right now. So I'm going to take a lot more damage than I wanted to, unfortunately. But he is close to death, which is nice. Yeah, that's an uncomfortable amount of damage. Flex. Whenever you can block. Yep. That's exactly the kind of thing I was looking for. Oh, you are so close to death. Are you kidding me? Wait, oh, wait, here's an idea. That's a novel idea. No, I'm not taking any more damage and he's going to die next turn. If he doesn't die next turn, I got a shit draw. Which is possible with all these. A little, a little late, but... Yeah, a little late for rupture, but... That was a quick fight. Every... Yeah, that can be pretty damn good. Another rupture is not necessary. Or is it? Nah. No, it's not. I, I do see the value in having two ruptures played, but only, it's not going to proc very often, only during boss fights, really. So, strike, strike, strike. All right, this is a no-brainer. And I think I'm actually going to proc the energy potion. Because I am taking a lot of damage here. Unfortunately. Yeah, and I'm gonna I'm probably not gonna go for the shop, I'm probably gonna go for the campfires. So that I can at least rest at one. Flex. Spot weakness. Rupture's free. Thunderclap. And kill one. You're doing twelve, you're doing seven, so we're gonna kill you. So that way you won't do any damage. This deck is really powerful. <laughs> Feed. Thanks for the HP, buddy boy. I don't need any. Do I have any cards that exhaust? That's the only card I have that exhausts. So that's not good for us. Uh, yeah, I'll remove you. When you have no cards in your hand during your turn, draw cards. <sighs> I won't get another opportunity to remove this card if I go a different direction. What do I need to upgrade? Heavy Blade. That's actually ab ab about it. So let's actually do this. Ah. Fucking Whirlwind, are you kidding me? Well, let's hope we get Whirlwind later on. Actually, no. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna hedge my bets on that. We'll get another opportunity to remove that card. No, I'm not I'm not gonna risk that. I'd like a remove card one. Yep. Oh. They got rid of it, that's what I wanted. <laughs> I know I, I know that'll give me like a negative one point at the end of my run, but I don't really care too much. Uh, strike, strike, speed. Okay, so rupture, bloodletting, flame. Uh, I, I guess we'll flex. <laughs> there ain't really any reason to flex, but we did anyway. Spot weakness, metallicize. You won't die. Yes, you will, actually. Oh, wait, no, I don't have an active shit. <laughs> I forgot that's not a relic, that's a card. Okay, well, I, I'm not taking a ton of damage. That's a lot of damage, actually. That's 20 damage. I'm gonna block 10 of it. I'm gonna have to rest at my next campsite, unfortunately. That's, that's, uh, that's a given. I can't get away from that. Now, I don't have to, I don't have to block against you. And I got a max HP up, so that's good. I pretty much just negated the curse earlier. Uh, nope. 
Hopefully this ain't a Sneko. Okay, it's not a Sneko. Uh, strike, strike, defend. Yep. My strength isn't high, so let's put vulnerable on you. Let's throw weak onto you. Take a little bit less damage. Because my HP is getting to a point where I'm not comfortable. So. Rupture is free. And flame. Thunderclap. You will die. And you'll take more damage. I didn't need to defend, so it's whatever. He might die next turn if I get a lucky draw. Oh, maybe not. He won't hurt me, though. So spot weakness. Flex. Hilariously enough, he's very close to death. But I got the 10 block, and he's dead. So, good. A dex potion. 3, 6, 9, 12. That's 12 damage. But if I keep stacking strength, that can get really strong really fast. But I have Whirlwind now, so I don't think that's necessary. And we're going to rest. Get as close to max as possible for the boss fight. All right, this guy is not horrible, but he is going to ne negate some of the debuffs. I mean, I don't really want to get rid of any of this stuff. Actually, no, I really don't want to get rid of any of this stuff. So let's just, all right. Talisize, rupture, bloodletting, flex, heavy blade. And juggernaut. And strike. Nothing there, so. I'll take the dexterity potion because this does make it better to use a block now. Just in the case I feel I need to. Now a whirlwind, I've only got a plus one strength right now though, so. Gotta remember that. This guy's gonna steal a card. But this guy's gonna hurt. I'm not gonna be able to kill one of them right now, so let's not worry about that just yet. That's the unfortunate thing about that, but I am gonna continue to get strength buffs. All I, I, oh, he took Whirlwind. That's what I was hoping he doesn't do. <laughs> All right, nobody's attacking, so spot weakness is actually useless. Thunderclap. And you're dead. You give me my Whirlwind back. Nine, 18. This one's gonna deal eight. Yeah, never mind. It's actually gonna do more because they were vulnerable. The only reason I did that was to get rid of this guy as fast as possible because he's about to steal a card. He took feed. Not, not the worst thing ever, actually. You're gonna die, so I'm gonna take 20 damage. I'm not even gonna attack him because of the effect. My block is going to kill him. Oh shit, I, I forgot when my hand's empty, I'll draw. Well, there's my feed. <laughs> I don't really need it right now, but... All right, so he's gonna buff again. Damn, I keep getting... This is gonna give me a strength boost. And... There's no reason to play feed right now. I'm not gonna try too hard to make feed work. If I need it as an attack, I'm going to use it. But I'm not in a super dire situation. Just... 51, I will gain 10. I will barely survive this. Take as little damage as possible because that's gonna hurt me a lot. But he's gonna he's that's gonna confuse him for a turn, so I'm gonna have a chance to actually whack him real good. He is so close to oh wait, no, he's dead. He's dead. Yeah, because of my block. <laughs> oh, that was a I, if I had the body slam I would totally take you this is good but this is also really good so because that one stacks with rupture 10 HP for every 5 cards in your deck kill 2 HP whenever you enter a rest site 5, 10, 15 I wouldn't even get yeah I, don't, I wouldn't even get 8 I'm gonna take this to heal more at the end of my combats because I'm hitting third floor and I'm playing a little fast and loose with my HP for strength gain. I want to hit as many question marks as possible. Unfortunately, that does not appear to be an option. 
no matter, almost no matter what I do, I'm gonna be fighting an elite or fighting a lot of enemies. Neither one, none of that, none of this is good. This is a horrible third floor. Now I'm, I'm looking at this path right here and thinking, can I survive that many combats without a campfire? It might be my only option. It might, yeah. Unfortunately, this might be my only option. You're a pain in the deck. Hot oh, weakness. Operate. Telesize Juggernaut. Flame. Bloodletting. Thunderclap. 52 fucking damage, Jesus Christ. And I'm only taking five more, so that's not horrible. We, he's gonna die next turn. The amount of damage I did to him on that one turn is absolutely asinine. <laughs> oh yeah, they're trying to heal 10 now. Oh, that's so good. Ooh, 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 baby. Oh, I know my thunderclap's already. Never mind. That's yeah, that's not as good. All right, I'm hoping for like a apotheosis. Yeah, I guess I was asking too much. Uh, draw an additional two cards. When adding cards to your deck, you may gain two max HP instead. Because I am gonna be skipping a lot, this might actually be a viable option. Yeah, because I actually, that's that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna opt for that. I could have removed another card, but I think I'll be okay. We'll see if that decision pays off in the end. This is definitely a whirlwind for sure. Uh, Pete's not, not really any good right now. Go in flame, rupture. Uh, flex, thunderclap. And block won't save me, unfortunately. I'm gonna take a lot of damage here, but if I can get another strength boost and a whirlwind on my next turn, these guys are in a world of hurt. Especially if I get like offering, okay. Well, they're just dead. <laughs> nope, none of them, none of them suit me. So the two extra HP is, I'm essentially just treating it as healing at this point, but it does also... Nobody's attacking shit. I wish I'd seen that. I don't need the extra energy. I'm not gonna worry about using feet as hard anymore. They're just buffing and shit right now. This guy needs to die soon, cause that's gonna get annoying real quick. I won't be able to defend against his attacks, but I kinda wanna focus dealing as much heavy damage as I can. Um, let's do this in case I can like, Eight times my eight, 16, 24, 32. That's 40 damage. That'll kill him. And I'll take 12 in return. Let's do this. 23, four. I wish I had another block. I'm gonna kill you because you're just gonna keep getting stronger with those thorns. And I will defend against all damage at this turn. I had a, I really did think this was going to be horrible. I, I, I knew. <laughs> Unfortunately, someone's got to die. This might... This is going to put me really close to death, and I'm not comfortable with that at all. 32 health. I'm going to heal back to 42 if I can stop. Yeah, oh, okay, so this is good. He's dead. Fuck! <laughs> this is so uncomfortable. Another bloodletting is not necessary. 
I'm still gonna do four more fights. Oh my fucking lord. This game don't like me. I can kill one of them. This is horrible. This is just actually horrible. The only way I can prevent myself from taking an immense amount of damage from these exploders is to kill them with block. 8, 16, 24, 32. That's right there is what's ideal. If I can drop you down to damn near death. I'm probably gonna die. I don't think I'm gonna make it. Oh my fucking lord. <laughs> Alright. Spot weakness is useless. Strike's useless. And eh, wouldn't have done anything for me, so whatever. Just to prevent myself from taking the five. I think this guy's gonna kill me. I think this is the end of the run. I know some people might not like that call right there, but... It's gonna kill me. Yeah, I, I can't defend against it. I'm dead. Unless I could weaken him somehow. The only way to do that would be to play out my hand and I don't have enough energy to do that. So yeah, this is it. I'm dead. That's just unfortunate. That was a really strong deck too, but I couldn't. The the last um, the last path I got was just horrible. I couldn't do it. Well, shit. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you guys like the content I'm putting out, feel free to subscribe for my channel for its uh, videos every single day. And I can't talk right now. And if you want to join my Discord, link is in the description below. And I will see you in the next video. Goodbye. Okay,